You're back. All right, let's do this. So create object specific quick actions. All right. So object specific quick actions on this trailhead. Salesforce have an example of a realtor scenario. What is a realtor? This realtor is a person who sell houses. All right, land or houses or buildings. So. I want to change the story a bit so everybody can understand better. So we're going to go and use our school story. So everybody has been to school, I hope. So we all had teachers. We all study in classes. We know how a school looks like. So let's use the school story. So after we, we did the school example in this trail, I encourage you to do the dream house realty scenario or story on your own. We will do the exact same steps that you saw here, right? We are going to, uh, to go through exactly the same steps as you are seeing here, but just a different story. So we, we would all understand better. Okay, so let's go ahead and enough talk. I'm going to go ahead and go to my playground and open my playground here and go to setup and stop so I can tell you what we are going to do so in a school you have a teacher right and in a school there is a student and sometimes the teacher wants to meet the parents of the student. For example, the student name is Rebecca. And Rebecca is doing just awesome in her grade 5 school. So Rebecca's teacher wants to give updates to Rebecca's parents, mom and dad, that she's doing just awesome. She, she, she wants to talk with her parents and just um, talk about the school work she did and everything else she wants to talk about with the parent. So, for this example, we want to make a quick action on the teacher object, alright, so that the teacher can schedule or make an appointment to meet the parent. You got it? Teacher wants to meet student parent so to meet the parent the teacher would need to know when to meet the parent and the parent would would need to know when to meet the teacher that is called an event or an appointment right so when can we meet so to do that the teacher should be able to make an appointment or schedule an appointment that would be on the event object Okay, so an event is a date or yeah, a date or time when they should meet. So let's go to the object manager here and search for event. Okay, you got it so far? Go to the event here. So on the event, we want to create a new layout, a new layout. Because the page layout for the event, the event layout, if we see here, it has fields, predefined fields here, right? Which is made or designed for a general event. But now we want to make a layout, a page that is specifically created for a teacher parent meeting. So let's make a new one instead of using this one. So I'm going to make a new one. Event layout. I'm going a new I'm going to create a new page layout. Okay, I'm gonna name this a teacher or a parent teacher meeting. Okay. And save that. So we have the layout. So 
we want to make name to related to start and the subject and the end when does the meeting start the subject and when will the meeting end okay so after this um, we are going to save this for now this is our new event page layout all right we just created a new event page layout called parent teacher meeting so the next step is to create a lookup field on the activity let's go there i'm going to go to my object manager and go to activity or task activity here go to my fields and relationships and i'm going to create a new one and call it student is a lookup relationship to the student object you will see what this is for shortly here student the name is student the student name of the parent teacher meeting let's put that oops for now okay and i'm going to keep everything as it is now and everybody can see and we just want this on the parent teacher meeting page layout only the parent teacher meeting page layout okay next activities yep and save so now we have um, a new field called student on the activity which is a look up to the student object now we are going to go back to our page layout all right so i'm going to go back here to my object manager and we are going to open the event page layout again here event layout oh no parent teacher meeting i'm going to edit this guy here and i'm going to add the student it's already there okay the student is now has been added there okay so i'm gonna save this and we have created the field the lookup field and then we have created the page layout the next one is we are going to create the action the action itself right so the action would be on the teacher's object here and teacher object and we are going to go to button links and actions a new action over here now we want to create a record the target object is an event okay um new parent teacher meeting okay if it's successful meeting successfully scheduled like that i'm going to save this and see we have this page layout okay the subject the description the start the name assigned to and and so forth i'm just going to save this next is predefined values all right i want to add a predefined value for a subject and i want to show i want to type here parent 
teacher meeting okay and save so it will have a predefined value so we have created now the action we just created the action remember on the previous trail once you have created the action what would you have to do put it stick it glue it on the page layout so the button itself without being added there is no button okay so you have to add the button on the teacher layout here okay so i'm going to add the button where do you remember mobile and lighting experience right this one here i'm going to hit the override see and i'm going to hit my actions here and new parent teacher meeting here on the very first why can't we add it there oh mobile lightning action my bad so here because we are a mobile light, lightning action and drag it there all right now i'm going to save this all right now it's the moment of truth let's try this out okay so we are on the mobile app and i'm going to hit my menu over here on the corner and i'm going to go to my teacher here my teacher object we have mr j here mr j and on the corner we have new parent teacher meeting there we go so the subject is predefined is predefined values parent teacher meeting and we have the description which you can type meeting meet up with rebecca's rebecca's parent Okay, I want to meet them on November 21st, 1 p.m. set until 2 p.m. set. The student is, of course, Rebecca. And that's it. I'm going to hit the save here. And there we have it all right so how cool is that right but before we do the challenge i encourage you to do the same thing for this um, real tool scenario you will see the same steps here first um, you create the property object for the houses and then the event for showing so to show the houses when somebody wants to buy a house they want to see it first right the inside of the house so you can um, create a showings event the same thing like like a parent teacher meeting but this one this story it's called showings all right same thing event event layout and and the same steps you can go and follow along on here same thing create a record and same thing here you see so you already know what we just did and then pull the action over here and then test it on your app and you're done okay that's what we just did but on a different story our school teacher parent uh, meeting story so let's go ahead and do the challenge real quick here and you can also do this feedback extra activity thing which is very simple let me know if you have any questions and we want to do the the trailhead uh, playground challenge simplify your broker's account layout so your brokers also need a customized page layout for their accounts to do this click on the mobile and lightning actions for the account page layout let's go ahead and do that first i'm going to my account and going to page layout right account and on page layout account page layout here and what are we supposed to do in the object manager for accounts edit the account layout 
so that mobile smart actions is the first item for Salesforce mobile. Oh, that's too easy, dude. Right? What on earth? We've done all those steps. Maybe they want to make it easy on us for the challenge. Because those steps are a, a whole lot more than this. So, um, quick actions, mobile and lighting actions over here. It's called smart action, mobile smart action. And you need to override this guy here, okay? Remember override and drag it to be the first there, right? So now it's the first mobile smart action. I'm going to save that. And that's pretty much that is to it for the challenge. So we did drag that for the first item and I'm going to check the challenge and I'll see you on the next trail. Three, two, one. Bada bing, bada, boom. Come on, 500 points, there we go. I'll see you on the next trail. Thank <laughs> you.